Now I am going to explain about dynamic storage allocation problem. Here we have a list of free holes. Previously that uh, process is having variable length size you now. So at that time we freed up that particular process area. So this is not uh, this is nothing but what a free hole. So from that list of free holes. So when we are requesting one of the okay hole then with the some size. So how to satisfy that request here? How to satisfy a request of size n from a list of free holes? The set of holes is set to, de to determine which hole is best to allocate first. So once uh, used to select a free hole from the set of available holes. So these holes are, have divided into three types. So the first one is first fit, best fit and worst fit. First fit is nothing but first hole in the list and uh, best fit is nothing but smallest hole and worst fit is nothing but largest hole. Here for the best fit and uh, worst fit, how to identify the hole is the smallest one and the hole is the largest one. So that uh, we have to search uh, the entire list okay whatever the free holes are there the entire list we have to find out so that we have to find out what is the smallest hole and what is the largest hole so first fit allocate the first hole that is big enough searching can start either at the beginning of the set of holes or with the previous first fit search ended best fit is nothing but allocate the smallest hole that is big enough must search entire list unless ordered by site and produce the smallest leftover hole Next, first fit and best fit better than worst fit in terms of speed and storage utilization. Now we are moving to the first fit. Worst fit. When now we are moving to the worst fit. Allocate the largest hole. Must also search entire list. Produce the largest leftover hole. Now I am going to explain about the fragmentation. About fragmentation, I explained. Uh, the two terms which are internal fragmentation and external fragmentation on board with the diagrams and this is the uh, only uh, the topic is there and this topic already explained in the board so that's why you have if you are getting any leq means just you go through this uh, topic and uh, write on the answer whatever i explained on the board with the diagrams here as processes are loaded and removed from memory the free memory space is broken into what little pieces External fragmentation means it exists when enough load, enough total memory space exists to satisfy a request, but it is not contagious. Here, storage is fragmented into a large number of small holes. Next, internal fragmentation is nothing but allocated memory may be slightly larger than requested memory. The size difference is memory internal to a partition, but not being used. In the case of external fragmentation here the contiguous memory allocations but it is not contiguous memory allocation so if it is not contiguous memory allocation then we can't use so here we are using the compaction one of the technique to reduce the external fragmentation so we have to shuffle memory contents to place all free memory together into one large block and compaction is possible only if relocation is dynamic and is done at execution time so this is about what the uh, whatever the problem we have and where we have got uh, three different types of fits first best and worst fits and next what is fragmentation that's enough